Welcome to both of you. Ibrahim, start with you. Um, how, how much of a concern is this Tesla selling, you think, especially that it's paired up against Twitter, which is in such a, a different uh, industry and in such need of capital? Hi, John. Good to be back. Good to see you. Um, I don't... Um, so Tesla's a brand, right? And that brand is being tarnished on the daily because of Musk's behavior publicly on Twitter. Um, you know, you buy cars, I buy cars. You know, we know that a car is a cornerstone of a consumer's identity, at least for a large subset of consumers. Traditionally, Tesla's said, I am a, you know, technology forward, environmentally conscious global citizen. And that is no longer the case. Now it is a confused brand uh, where it is, you know, it, that brand is associated with a founder that attacks uh, Fauci. He, uh, you know, promotes um, characters that are anti-Semitic. And it is really has turned off a lot of the buyers. I mean, right now, I remember when we used to talk about how proud we were of owning a Tesla and now if you look at social media, the biggest thing you see are people taking screenshots of them canceling their order. So right. this the brand is tarnished. So, Colin, um, some of the bulls like to say that the fundamentals haven't actually changed all that much, given his distraction with Twitter. But what Brahim just laid out there, the brand, that feels pretty fundamental. I, I agree with it. You know, it's, it's a real concern, and it's happening in real time right now. What we've been looking at is on the technology side, where Tesla continues to strut out in front of competitors, and, and I think is being under uh, underappreciated for the innovation that they've done within the EV space and the material space. But the the brand issue and, and the long term impact of that is a legitimate concern. And and beyond that, you know, the the debt low that you guys were talking about earlier from Twitter impacting, you know. Tesla shares because of the selling is a concern, right? And as we start to get a little bit more clarity on that, we, we think there's some support for Tesla. But from a fundamental perspective on the technology side, we feel very good about this. But the premium that Tesla's gotten in the market uh, from a pricing perspective is potentially at risk. And, and so one thing we haven't seen uh, the company do is uh, spend aggressively on marketing. And at the point that we start to see that, that could be a real signal for you know the, the challenges on the, the sell through for the vehicles. Ibrahim, I wonder um, if you think that perhaps um, people are reading too much into what's happening at Twitter. I mean, when you look at Tesla, yes, it has fallen significantly over the last few months, but really it's come in line with the rest of FANG and big tech losses over the last year, year and a half. Yes, except that its P.E. ratio is trading even after a, you know, 58 percent drop in, in the <clears throat> price of the stock. It's still trading at a 50 times multiple on its PE while Alphabet is in the mid 20s, GM is in I think something like uh, in the single digits. So I think the days of Elon Musk performing for his vast retail um, um, stockholder base is behind us because that's what he's been doing for a long time because Tesla uniquely has something like a 42, I wrote that, like 42% of their stock is held by the by retail investors, and while Alphabet right here is that, you know, retail investors are at 18%, so he can get away with things, at least he used to be able to get away with things based on who is holding the Tesla stock, but I think those days are over because he, as a, I guess, as a market mover, has lost a lot of credibility and remember, a lot of those retail investors only entered the investment space in the last 14 years where all we've ever seen is just growth, growth, growth. This is the first time they've ever been confronted with a recession. You know, we've lived through uh, many of these, and this is when you actually know yourself as an investor or not. It's through right. these hard times, not when the market goes up for 14 years straight.